Okay. Um, hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us tonight. It is March 22nd. This is our regular town board meeting of the town of Rhinebeck. Would everybody please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okie dokie, we have a uh, public hearing. Um, I just, oh, I also want to let everybody know that Ed Roberts had a minor procedure today. He's not feeling well, so he won't be joining us. Um, sends his uh, regrets and uh, we wish him uh, to get well quickly. Um, before I, uh, I'm going to make announcements and committee liaison reports. I'm going to bring them to the end of the meeting. And before I open the continuation of our public hearing on the two local laws between us, I'm going to hand this over to Michael Zarin. Good evening. Uh, thank you, Supervisor. Um, so there, there were um, two um, possible uh, minor modifications to the uh, zoning laws that I wanted to um, raise with the board uh, before we hear uh, the, before we open the public hearing and possibly close it this evening. Uh, and this is based on comments, additional comments that we've received uh, from uh, members of the public and others. So again, they're relatively minor, but um, I wanted to raise it and get the board's concurrence before we move forward. So the first one is on uh, resolution 202-1074, um, the um, local law amending the town code charter 125 zoning in the matter of adding definitions pertaining to the hospitality uses and article eight definitions in the town of Rhinebeck. So, um, it's uh, in section two or page two of the proposed local law. There was a reference in the last sentence under the definition of lodging unit. It's, it currently reads including suites, single and multiple bedroom layouts. Um, wanted to substitute the term guest room for bedroom. Um, this is, uh, was raised uh, by a member of the public because um, guest rooms is the technical term uh, for quote unquote bedrooms in lodging units. Lodging units are under commercial hospitality, whereas bedrooms um, refer to um, residential uses. So the correct I think nomenclature for this would be guest room, not bedroom. So um, that is the first. Um, uh, supervisor, do you want to take these one at a time with the board? I do, and I want to check with the clerk. John, are you clear on that? Uh, yeah, where it says lodging unit, right? Yes. The last sentence of that, you substitute, we're substituting uh, guest room for bedroom. Is, is it the case that Michael will not be able to send these to me by email tomorrow? Michael will be able to send these to you tomorrow by email. Okay, then. Thank you. Go You're ahead, welcome. Michael, next. Uh, do, do we want to just hold the board first and see if there's concurrence? Just, sure. Uh, um, Chauncey? I concur. Yeah. Uh, Alan? Josh? Good with me. Okie dokie, next. Okay, the uh, second... Second one um, deals with uh, resolution 202-1075. That's the local law amending town code charter 125 zoning in the matter of amending the country into specific standards to provide density and use maximums in section 125-68.mm in the town of Rhinebeck. Um, if you turn to page one, of the local law um, and you uh, look at um, section B1 and you go, you, uh, go from one, two, from the bottom, count please, one, two, three, four, fifth line from the bottom. 
the start of the sentence is member only. Okay, so um, this would say, this would, if you go to the end of the line, it's, it says subject to. Uh, I'm proposing that it reads subject to, we add the term at least one. So be subject to at least one equivalent type and quality. And in, instead of the word for, we add the word of. So subject to at least one equivalent type and quality of food and beverage operation being available for general public use. Delete the S in operation. So what this, this sentence, what this wording or text uh, is clarifying uh, that with respect to uh, private membership clubs, um, for example, if the private, if the country in two includes two restaurants or two bars, for example, they're only required to provide at least one restaurant or bar of equivalent type and quality. It's not necessarily a one for one, um, one for one. So that's, that's the reason for the um, modified language. And, Thank and you, Michael. This was raised by a particular individual. Um, Chauncey, are you in agreement? I am. Alan? Yes. You, you are? Yes. Josh? Yes. And I am as well. Thank you, Michael. And, and again, we've received throughout the um, public comment period and governmental, we've received a number of comments that have been helpful to us, not necessarily everyone reflected in the, in the uh, text or modifications. Uh, but um, and rather than go through each one, why not? But um, we thought these were would provide clarification, necessary clarification. We appreciate all the comments that we did receive. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we do. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Um, I'm going to open the public hearings now for the local law amending town law chapter 125 zoning in the matter of adding definitions pertaining to hospitality uses, et cetera and a local law amending town code chapter 125 zoning section 68 MM in the matter of revising country into standards, et cetera. Um, would anybody who wishes to speak, please uh, turn on your video and raise your hand. I'm taking new comments um, on these two laws. Deirdre. You're on mute. Thanks. Um, so I don't know if you're answering questions because- um, It's a public hearing, so we're listening. Okay. Well, so I'll just say my, I have seen the agendas for these items, you know, that- for Which items? Both of those, you know- Lo The local laws? Yeah. Over the past, I'm changing the language just by email. And then, um, I saw the Daily Freeman article after your last meeting. So it seemed to me that it was directly linking to, um, to the project at Grasmere. So that, that just confused me. And I'm, so I'll just say, I know you're just listening. So I'll just say the questions I have, which is um, I didn't know and I wouldn't know how to share with my neighbors whether this was being changed specifically for a very specific project or specific, um, parcel of land or a specific project. And I guess I just had concerns about what that meant and whether that project at Grasmere, where that stood as far as um, public input on just what would certainly be interesting to people I know, which is the number of, of guest rooms as it were. So that's um, not what we're discussing tonight. Um, I understand, but if I'm allowed to speak, do I have a time limit or something, Elizabeth? Uh, you said, I, you, you have three minutes, me. but you're to speak to the laws before us. Right. So, I'll so I guess I'm just saying, as a citizen of the town, I don't know what the whether the origin is around a very specific project or a specific parcel of land. And having I listened to one of the previous uh, very brief hearings earlier um, on YouTube. And um, Mr. Zarin talked about the county having input on density issues, it seemed. So a question I had was, I was just 
interested and not knowing how the county has an input into these uh, local laws. So that was uh, another question I had. Um, and yeah, so I think those are my questions, sort of the relationship to the project and the relationship with the county on density and how else this project, how else these local laws might be promulgated so people can understand that there's an actual outcome for a development project. Okay, thank you. I will answer this briefly. Uh, you're, we're only taking comments to the two public laws uh, before us, and some of your comments don't have anything to do with that, but I'm happy to address them. One, any local law that we do uh, for uh, zoning is referred to the County Department of Planning. Uh, they must be able to make comment on it. So that answers that too. Uh, there is currently an application for a country into in front of the planning board. The planning board will be where you uh, get to uh, participate in how that's developed. Uh, the plan is developed. The planning board must follow our law and they have discretion in deciding the scope of a public problem project within the uh, within our law. So that's where the all of the public comment will be taken. And three, this law is not directed specifically to one project. Does anybody, Michael, do you wish to speak further to that? Did I, I, think, I, I think you did, you, you summed it up very well. Okay. Does that, anything else, Deirdre? You good? Good right now, thank you. Thank you. Would anybody else like to speak? Debbie, could you please show yourself? Uh, you're on mute. Debbie Duke. Sorry. Um, I just uh, wondered, following up from Deirdre's question, if somebody could tell us what the genesis of this proposed change was. How, you know, why was it? Um, so, sure. Is, do you have another question? Nope, that's it. There was um, a discrepancy between um, our law and Michael, am I stating this uh, correctly? And a determination from our zoning administer, administration. Uh, yeah, on, go ahead, I'm sorry. Uh, with regard to country, with regard to uh, the hospitality definitions, uh, there was some ambiguity in our law and the planning board asked us to, uh, to, uh, to look at the law with clarity towards the definition. So that's why we took it up. With regard to country in two, Michael, can you speak to this for me? Yes, uh, it, it'd be a couple of answers. First of all, uh, Debbie, we, we prepared a um, relatively long or lengthy um, called supplemental analysis on the CICRA, both for the country in uh, local <laughs> law and the definitional explaining in, in pretty strong detail the genesis and the evolutionary process and the predicate for the work that was done. So as the supervisor mentioned, a lot of this came from a request from the planning board and other rulings of the zoning administrator that raised some issues that required uh, clarification and guidance from the legislative body, i.e. the uh, town board. So that was the, that was the genesis of the, especially the country to win, but also the definitions. And if you go into the record and online, you'll see a much lengthier discussion uh, that it was part of the hard look that the uh, town board took in connection with both these laws. Thank you, Michael. Would anybody else like to uh, speak? Sean, you're muted. My name is Sean Kemp. I represent Rhinebeck Villas. Um, <clears throat> the only thing that I wanted to uh, bring to the board's attention is with respect to the definition of suite. Uh, it has it ref refers to a combination of guest rooms, and it also allows for um, provisions for cooking, <clears throat> which is all fine and good. Uh, one concern I had, though, is is this meant to uh, eliminate a one-bedroom suite? Because it 
uh, refers to a combination of guest rooms and guest rooms is plural. So uh, I think we're all pretty familiar enough with the hospitality industry to understand that there are there is such a thing as a, a one bedroom suite. Um, so I would just like that to be uh, brought to the board's attention. But otherwise, I'd like to thank Mr. Zarin and the town board's work on helping to uh, bring these definitions to a conclusion. And um, thank you. Thank you. Anybody else wish to wish to speak? Um, nobody. I would like to make a motion to close our public hearing. Second. Thank you, Chauncey. All in favor of closing our public hearing? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Thank you. Uh, Michael, do you have anything to add? I don't, except to say that, you know, I, th I think this was a, um, an impressive and, and robust process, um, you know, not being your regular attorney, I get an opportunity to um, see a lot of different municipalities and how they approach these types of matters. And I think you did it with um, both uh, considerable um, broad width with respect to listening to the public and the various agencies and, and thought as to its ramifications and um, and and meaning so and and implications. So I just wanted to say, you know, not me, but you all, including the public and the people who have given so much input. I think um, you all deserve a tremendous amount of credit, and I I hope that these laws serve the purpose that they were intended to. Thank you, Michael. You've been it's been really a treat to work with you. You've been a great asset for us. Thank you. I'm with Jim Levy on this. Sorry. Yeah. And with Jim Levy on and with Jim Levy, yes. Uh, exactly. You are very fortunate. And I'm sorry I didn't mention in particular, but Jim has moved into my house. He's got a separate room right next to me. Um, we talk through the wall a lot, and um, he deserves a tremendous amount of kudos and credit. You. And he's still with you, so you're very lucky to have him. Thank you all. Um, I'm going to uh, go to uh, tab eight. Resolution 2021-074, adopting a local law of 2021 entitled a local law amending town code chapter 125 zoning in the matter of adding definitions pertaining to hospitality uses in article 13 definitions in the town of Rhinebeck. May I have a motion? Thank you, Alan. May I have a second? Second. Okay. Thank you, Chauncey. Uh, is there any discussion or questions from the board? Uh, because it's a local law, I'll do this by voice. Uh, Josh? Aye. Uh, Alan? Aye. Chauncey? Aye. And I vote yes as well. Uh, passes unanimously. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Um, I'm going to tab nine, resolution 2021-075 adopting a local law of 2021 entitled a local law amending town code chapter 125 zoning in the matter of amending the country in two specific standards to provide density and use maximums in section 125-68 mm in the town of Rhinebeck may I have a motion so move thank you chauncey may i have a thank second you. thank you alan um, board members are there any uh, further questions comments or discussion uh, hearing none, I will go to voice vote for this. Uh, Josh. Aye. Thank you. Alan. Aye. Thank you. Chauncey. Aye. And I vote yes as well. It's unanimous. Uh, thank you very much again, gentlemen. Um, well, congratulations. We've, we've, uh, it's been a lot of work, but, but we did it. Um, Michael, I think we're, we're finished with you for this evening. Or in my life, just... <laughs> You're welcome to stay. We've got to. Yeah, we've we're got done to, with you. <laughs> okay. Listen, don't go to dinner. Stay with us. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so thank much, you. and we'll speak soon. Jim, you. Um, you can go as well if you, if you like. And thank you for all of your help, and we'll speak to you soon. Thanks, Julie. Have a good night. Thanks. Okay. Thank you both.
Uh, okay, so uh, taking a, a breath here, uh, I'm going to um, item uh, tab number one, um, resolution 2021-067, creation and funding of budget line for historical and archeological preservation advisory committee. May I have a motion? So moved. Thank you, Chauncey. May I have a second? Second. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to amend this. Um, uh, town clerk, uh, I'd like to add a, a third resolved. Um, resolved, the town board authorizes $660 payment to Urban Edom for the setup, domain hosting, and registration of Rhinebeck, H A P A C dot org. And I can give this to you tomorrow. We just uh, didn't put all the information to get this done on this resolution. Um, is, uh, does everybody accept the amended resolution? Chauncey? Yes. Alan? Yeah. Josh? Yes, Aye. and I do as well. Now, can we vote on the amended resolution? All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, and there are none uh, against it. It passes unanimously. Thank you very much. Um, I'll look for a motion for, uh, I'll make the motion for resolution 2021-068, uh, creation of a national res resource inventory for the town of Rhinebeck, a part of Rhinebeck's participation in the DEC's Hudson River Estuary Program. May I have a second? Second. Thank you, Joshy. Josh, do you want to speak to this at all? Well, this is a, a key piece of getting our CSC uh, certification done and uh, emboldens uh, the community, the Conservation Advisory Board to have better information when working with the planning board. So um, uh, we figured out how to do it economically uh, through a grant uh, and uh, I think it's a good thing. Yes, this will be more information for us uh, as to the um, habitats in our town. It will help us uh, count points towards our uh, community um, smart, Community certification. Climate smart, yes. yes, climate smart community certification. Thank you, and we're uh, grateful for Mark for pushing this forward for us. Any further discussion? All in favor? I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. No, go no, ahead. no, no. My no. Did, Please go ahead with the vote, and then I'll ask my questions. Got nothing to do with this. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Chauncey, you had a post vote question on the prior. Um, uh, resolution. Did we vote? I thought we might be voting on just the amendment and then it needed to have another vote on the. No, I asked if everyone accepted the amendment and you raised your I'm hand and then I voted amendment. on the resolution. I think we're covered. The, the amendment was never, the amendment was never seconded. It you made the motion, but it was never seconded. Alan seconded it according to my notes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I, I write down who the first. Sly second. Okay. okay. Um, we're good then, Thank, Thank you. Great. Uh, Resolute, I will make a motion for resolution, just because I have it on the agenda, 2021-069, a letter, a letter to State Senator Serino and Assembly Member Cahill requesting funds for the Department of State's waterfront revitalization par program as part of the $300 million environmental protection fund. May I have a second? Second. Thank you, Alan. Uh, is there any discussion or questions? Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Thank you. Um, I'd like a motion for resolution 2021-70, hiring our town sustainability clerk, David Chernak. Thanks, Josh. May I have a second? Second. Thanks, Alan. Is there any discussion, questions, or comments from the board? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Um, I will make a motion for resolution 2021-071 training for our deputy town clerk. May I have a second? Second. Thank you, Alan. Um, any comments or discussion from the board? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So moved. Um, resolution 2021-072, paying, I will make this motion, paying off our $250,000 Thompson Mazzarella Park phase one serial bond. May I have a second? Second. 
Thank you, Alan. Uh, any further discussion or questions from the board? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So moved. Um, I will make a motion for a resolution 2021-073 for a preliminary accounts payable abstracts 41 checks totaling $285,904.99. May I have a second? Second. Thanks, Chance. Any questions or comments from the board? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So moved. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, is there any new business uh, before the board? Does anybody wish to make any announcements or committee and liaison reports? Well, I, let, me, let me just uh, mention that uh, we got some, uh, we were all copied on uh, notes from, from Carrie. Uh, Carrie McCurdy, our rec director. Summer camp and pool. And uh, yeah, you, you froze since out. We there. haven't gotten the final guidance from the State Department of Health. It's a little premature. So, all right, I'll just repeat wait. what you said. What I have I... to say, and there are a bunch Alan? of decisions we're going to have to make. Okay, I think you might have to repeat yourself. You went in and out a little bit. Oh, you froze. I'm sorry. So, Carrie, the recreation director, sent us all a. Uh, a for the summer camp. Alan, I'll um, take over because you're, you're, you're freezing here. I think you have a bandwidth issue. Um, today- and we'll, and We just got them. So we're gonna look at them and I'll be able to speak to them in more detail uh, at the next meeting. And at that point we should authorize uh, whatever summer programs we decide are appropriate. Thank you. Um, just an addendum here. So gentlemen, read your emails. Carrie sent us a plan. Let's be prepared to discuss it at our next meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Also, anything else from anybody? Any new business? Chauncey, Josh? No, not, not this time. Okay, any public comment on any non-agenda items? Tom, you're hanging in long. Do you wanna to talk to us about anything? <laughs> Okay, um, hearing nothing, I will make a mo motion to adjourn. Okay. All right, good evening, everybody. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, everybody, for coming. We'll see you in a couple of weeks.